Hello friends. Today we are going to learn about formed heads which are used in the manufacturing of pressure vessels. So welcome to Vision Engineers and let's learn. Now the first question is what's head in a pressure vessel? A head is one of the end caps on a cylindrically shaped pressure vessel. These heads are mostly used in the pressure vessel manufacturing industries. So now we'll see different types of head. As per SME section 8 division 1 UG 32 there are five types of head. The first one is ellipsoidal second toraspherical third hemispherical fourth conical and fifth toriconical principal dimensions and shapes of typical heads are given in ASME section 8 division 1 mandatory appendix 1 ellipsoidal toraspherical hemispherical conical and toriconical Now before going further in details of different types of this head first we will see the terminology of this head so this is internal diameter thickness this is knuckle radius knuckle radius is the transition between the straight face and the crown radius this is crown radius this is straight face and this is total height and total height is equal to straight face plus internal height plus descent thickness so now let's check out the different types of head so the first one is ellipsoidal head which is also called 2 is to 1 elliptical head this shape is more economical as the height of the head is just a quarter of the diameter and as per sme section 8 division 1 ug 32 c an acceptable approximation of 2 is to 1 ellipsoidal head is one with a knuckle radius of 0.17d and a spherical radius of 0.90d so this is your knuckle radius and this is your crown radius where d is the inside diameter of the descent If the thickness of this type of head is calculated as per the design condition of the cell it will be approximately equal to the cell thickness Now the next one is toraspherical head which are also called flanged and distant These type of heads are used where the pressure is moderate and overall height of the pressure vessel is important And these type of heads are having a fixed radius which is called crown radius and the transition between the straight face and the crown radius is called knuckle radius so as per asme section 8 division 1 ug 32y the crown radius shall be less than or equal to the outside diameter of the head and the knuckle radius shall be more than the 6% of the od of the head and in no case it shall be less than the three times of the thickness of the head and if you calculate the thickness of the head as per the same design condition of cell it will be approximately 1.77 into cell thickness next is hemispherical head the radial geometry of this type of head is quite simple as it's in half sphere so the height of the head is equal to half of the diameter these type of heads are commonly used in large diameter and high pressure applications usually these type of heads cannot be formed from a single plate instead it is made from the welded pieces or segments and these type of heads are the strongest of the all formed head and if you calculate the thickness based on the design condition of the cell it will be less than the cell thickness
The fourth one is conical head. As you can see in the picture, these type of heads are mostly used as the bottom head for accumulation and removal of process material. And the apex angle is usually taken as 30 degree. So the fifth one is toriconical head. These are the conical head with knuckle portion. As per SME section 8 division 1 UG 32G, the knuckle radius be neither less than the 6% of the outside diameter of the head skirt nor less than the 3 times of the knuckle thickness. The usage of this type of heads are similar as the conical head. So these type of heads are formed from the steel plate in one of the following ways. So the first one is single piece seamless plank. So if the diameter of the head is small then it can be taken out from a single plate. And if the diameter is large then two or more plates can be welded to make a single plank. And if the diameter is more large then it can be made in crown and petals or segmental type. So this is all about basics of heads and in next videos we will be learning about the forming and heat treatments of these heads. Please subscribe to our channel Vig Engineers and press the bell icon and never miss another update.